All right, Nance, let's do this. That sounds okay. Good. So we are going to the garden, or trying to go to the garden? Yeah, let's try it. But it still sounds, yeah, it does still sound very stormy, so. Well, I don't know what triggers us being able to go outside. Yeah, I'm not sure. But we can check the door again, though, and talk let's to the people along the way. first. Yeah, let's talk to everyone. I think there's not a whole time we can do it. No, we do quite a bit. Can I help you? Okay. No. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. That I am. A paratrooper. You, Lisa? Yeah. Oop. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> so what'd you find in the library? <gasps> no! Girl, what? Second one. Please, Lisa. You know it's off limits. Oh, come on, Nancy. You've been on the prowl. Oh, and I can tell by the sparkle in your eye. I honestly have no idea Clean what you're fifth. talking about. Aw, you're no fun. When you researched this place, did you find any references to a secret garden? Huh. Not that I remember. But I probably wasn't even thinking about gardens. I mean, it's hardly croquet weather. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. Will do, buckaroo. Will do, Papa True. Will do, you old kazoo. Will do. Bonaro. <laughs> I can make up a lot of words with that one to get to. <laughs> oh, these halls. Don't these cold, London. desolate halls that I must walk down. Jacques! Jack! Oh, Nancy, como ça va? I'll talk to you later. Allez, bye bye. Allez, bye bye. Never be a pa. It's Aww. like the North Pole out there. Okay, so what do we have to do in the you meantime? Let's just go back to 3 a.m., talk to Hotch's kid, Hotch kid again, <laughs> go to her room, see if check we can see the rest of the video. Yeah. That's all I can think of right now, because. Really? Yeah. We've talked to everyone. Yeah. Oh, I guess it must here. be there. Weird. Also, at night time, if we go into the elevator, we might be able to see, like, your sawing or whatever, remember? Oh, yeah. So maybe yeah, we... Like let's do both. Not the yet. Ah. Okay. So let's go to our room, go to 3 a.m., talk to Hodges, go to her room, and then go to the elevator. My fellow <laughs> night owl, or perhaps I should say hoot hoot. <laughs> oh, oh, did you find anything of interest in my room? I did pop in there, though interesting doesn't begin to describe the place. Would you mind if I went back another time? Of course not. Pop in all you like, just not when I'm working. See you soon. Goodbye. Gonna do that right yeah, let's now. Go. Bye. Bye. I've enough of you. I mean, could I ever really get enough of her? I, yeah. Hodgkiss is my favorite Nancy Drew character of all time. Oh, it's so good. How do I end 
at the wrong thing. That I yelled at you. Hold the Laura. Before. to be some kind of oh, peephole. Oh, oh, yes. But what, pray, does it peep upon? Shall I peep? I think we have to keep recharging this to continue uh, the video. La la, I do believe I'll peep. <gasps> the beauty, the colors. So this is what Helga told me to look for. Where's my medallion? <gasps> it fits. Note herself. High five, Team Hotchkiss! And what's this? A message? Eureka! It says the diamond! Okay, guess we're gonna have to come back again tomorrow night. <laughs> and the next night! Let's look under the cushion. Oh yeah, I don't think we're gonna see anything yet. Just in case. Just don't cuss. Alright. So let's go back and see if we can talk to her. Or let's go and see if we can see what she saw. We don't know anything about medallions yet, but we can ask her, like... What's the you know what? Let's go to that little room. Yeah, that's what I'm going to right now. So that's where she was. Oh! Whoa! I thought we heard something, though, and I just... Bang! Let's go to the elevator after this. Yeah. Let's try to talk to her about the medallions first. La vérité de la tout le monde. Are you I sure we shouldn't go now? Is. We sure? Just in case. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we ever went this way. Oh, that goes back right down. Okay, let's go. What is happening down there? What is the oh, meaning of oh, this? What is happening? Oh. Ah, so the Lord! You know, I think we need to call the elevator up here. No, it's already up. Oh. Did I take it up here? He must have at some point. Yes. And then we take it down to the basement. But the thing is that we can't get into the basement if we take it down to the basement. We have to like use the ladder. Maybe we have to go to like the second floor. The middle floor? Yeah, let's try to do that. So if in the basement we can't get down there. Right. Because that's why we look down and we see a crack, but we yeah. can't like do it. How did you get over there? We did it from the basement. Oh, but you know what we have to do? What? <sighs> what? Okay, I think we need to like... So I remember hearing sawing at some point. But it was at night. To, yes, but we have to... Okay, so I think... We can go to the basement. Here. So I think... Okay, so I think what we need to do is... Hear what's going on. But we can like go on this... Yes. Okay, what we need to do, because this is the floor we need to be on, so we need to, wait. But it's, it's below the, us. Yeah, no, I know what we have to do. Okay. Uh, so we have to, how do I get back to looking at the ladder? I know I had this problem, that's why I couldn't do what you did from the basement. Okay. Okay, we don't have to do this. One minute. Oh! oh. It's stuck. Oil! Oil. These noises in this elevator scared me I so know. much. Yes! The elevator's in the way. Oh, we have to call the elevator up to another floor. You have to go up and then go back yeah. and come back down. 
I guess you can run through the library, I suppose. I'm sure there's more eloquent way of doing this. But I know, that's okay. We back! Anyway! Oh my gosh, my gosh. A normal mouse this would be. One day. A lot easier. Maybe we won't be on the laptop. It's called elevator. And then turn around. I'm just gonna go back. Yeah. Just a bit. Good call. Oh shoot! But we. Do you remember it? No. Okay. Three star two seven. Turn around. Okay. Three star two seven. Is that not it? Do this, do the powder. Oh, shoot. Let's try the opposite. What's the opposite? Seven. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look who returned to the scene of the crime. Dang. You're out of here. The opposite? No, but it's. Be the darkest first, like that for sure. That's what it should be, but I know that this puzzle's been finicky to me in the past. Okay, powder, just in case. Let's try it in different orders and see what yeah. happens. Three looks like it's the first one, but it's tough. Yeah, to me, three definitely looks like the darkest, but maybe it's star three. Well, well, well. Okay, Look who returned to the buzzing. scene of the Three, crime. Three star seven two. I knew it was something finicky because I always knew that I had trouble with this puzzle because that's what I didn't think it was. Three, seven. Sorry, star. Seven, two. Whew. Oh, I'm tired of hearing that. Yeah. And all we wanted to do was go to the elevator. We didn't even want to look in the library. I'm not here to vandalize. I'm here to escape. That scared me. That scared me. Jacques! <gasps> no! 
Nancy, what are you doing here? I was just looking for the castle's soda pop machine. What you working on? I can explain, Nancy. But please, don't tell anyone that you found me here. If I get sent back to France, my fiancé will give up on me. And I will have let down my family again. Which one should we say? Should we accuse him? Let's let's just. What's your fiance expecting first. you to accomplish by breaking into the Queen's Tower? I am doing this for my country and for my family's name. Isabelle has nothing to do with it, except that I feel I must succeed before I will feel worthy to marry her. The tower holds a valuable French historical document. If I can find it and return it to France, perhaps I can make up for my failure at the Olympics. What kind of document? The tower first belonged to the Chateau Rochemont in France. When Ezra Wickfield bought the tower, my great-grandfather was the master carpenter in charge of dismantling it and wow. preparing it for shipment. One day, when he was working alone, he found a secret compartment in one of the walls. A secret compartment? Inside, he found an old journal with a royal crest an on the cover journal. and a medallion with a strange blue stone in it. But he heard other carpenters coming, so he hid the medallion in his pocket and sealed the journal back in the compartment. Before he could get back to study the journal and return the medallion, the tower was dismantled and shipped to America. He never learned who the journal belonged to or what it said. What happened to the medallion? I have the medallion now, oh. and I'm hoping if I can get into the tower, I can find the journal too. The you journal. see, he thought if he told his story, Ezra Wickford might get angry, accuse him of interfering with the project, and try to ruin his name as a carpenter. So he kept quiet. So, how do you know all of this? I was his only great-grandson. On his deathbed, he gave me the medallion and told me the whole story. He begged me to come here to Wisconsin to find the journal and return it to France. You must feel a real sense of responsibility to carry out your great-grandfather's dying wish. Oh yes, of course. But it's not just for my great-grandfather. It is for France. The journal bore a royal seal. It must have belonged to Marie Antoinette because she used to visit the tower during the revolution. So perhaps it contains her confessions or perhaps it contains proof of her innocence. Either way, the contents of that journal could change French history forever. But how do you think the medallion fits in? What's its significance? I have no idea. I believe whoever hid that journal must have left the medallion with it as a part of their message. B but what? Nancy, do you think you could help me? Let me show you this medallion and maybe you'll be able to tell me what it's for. Sure, man. Yeah, man. Pass it over. I might be willing to help you, but you have to tell Christy everything. I'm sure she'll understand. And then you won't have to sneak around in the middle of the night, haunting the castle with that screeching hacksaw. Okay, Nancy, I see your point. I will explain everything to Christy Lane as soon as possible. Now will you help me? I think this medallion will interest you. And maybe you'll have some idea what it's for. It's in my locker. Uh, will you go get it while I take care of something? The combination is 2665. Six, six, I'll meet you in the locker room in a minute. I'll meet you in the locker room in a minute. We're coming, Jacques. <laughs> okay, Jacques. I am intrigued. I'll see you downstairs. Oh, you are the best, Nancy. That's what they tell me. What's his lock? Oh, it says his locker name. Yes, because he's, yeah. What is that? Can we look at this? Oh. I can click things. Can... It's locked. Almost. Of course. Okay. Well. What about this? Can we use that key? Wow. Whoa! 
What was that? I, I could take that, but I took it anyway. Oh, it's like a spear. A spur. Or like an arrowhead. Okay. It's locked. Try and use it. Why not? It's locked. Okay, I guess I just want for that. Cool. Well, maybe we have to use it for something else. That's where he was sawing yeah. away. That was going to take him some time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coming. Mean, where's this lead to, actually? I think it leads to upstairs. No, you know what? I think it leads to just outside of that re that room <laughs> that has the peephole. Ooh. Or maybe no, it's the uh, it's the outline of the door. Okay, now yes. we need to go to the basement. Yes. Okay. No, is that not the right basement? Oh no, it was not. It was not. Do you like the way I wrote Jacques Locker? Jacques Lacker. He's just spelled it like his name. Jacques Lacker. <laughs> Jacques Lacker. <laughs> Lacour. Laque. Laquo. Oh. I thought you said you were meeting me, man. Yeah. Where you at? Let's see if there's anything we can see. Ooh, it's his girlfriend. Hey, girl. Jacques Darling. Jacques Darling. I am trying to be patient, but I cannot. But I cannot understand what is taking you so long. My mother and father are traditional people, and they think it's highly unusual that you would ask me to marry you without demonstrating your commitment to me in any symbol in any symbolic way. I know you believe that our love makes us richer than kings and queens. But I cannot live on hot dogs and mac and cheese forever. I mean, I, I could. Uh, <laughs> you said you had plans. You said it would only take a couple of weeks, but it's been two months. I can't wait forever. Please don't give up on. Please don't make me give up on you. I remain your petite shoe, Isabel. Oh man. Rough. Oh, oh, U.S. immigration. So that makes a little bit more sense now to you, like as to why he was saying he wants to like get that stuff to show her that he's worthy of her love and stuff, because I was like, that's a question. Yeah. No. This is from Immigration. To whom I may concern, our records indicate that your visitor's visa will expire within one month. If you remain in the country after that time, you'll be doing so in violation of the law. If your visitor's status right. has changed or you wish to dispute our records, please contact your local immigration authority immediately. So that explains, so he wants to get married. all this rich so that he can show her, like, I, you I get, did, yeah. want to be with me, marry me, please, because right so now she's kind of being stay. like, I don't yeah. know. Ooh. I think it's kind of risky. These, These were dazzling diamonds. Dazzling diamonds. No, but like ruby, emerald, sapphire, diamond, right? True, yeah. Diamantes. Ooh, color. They're clear, right? Not so. Actually, viewed under a special jeweler's light, you can see the diamonds come in every color of the rainbow. What's more, the color of the diamond is the second biggest factor in its price after carat weight. The clearer or more colorless the diamond is, the more it's worth. Most diamonds have at least a hint of yellow or brown body color. Others called fancy diamonds have blue, pink, purple, or red tint. If a diamond does not have enough color to be called fancy, then it's graded in a scale of colors rating from D through Z. Uh, D diamond is considered to be colorless. The other end of the spectrum, anything more intense than Z is considered fancy. Fancy yellow diamond is more expensive than a yellow, a light yellow diamond. cut. Diamonds come in a variety of shape, brown, emerald, heart, uh, marquise, oval, pear, and princess. Still not every diamond of the same shape looks the same. Two heart shaped diamonds can appear very different actually and you don't need to be a diamond expert to speak. see that one may have more shape appeal than the other. The most popular shape that diamonds are cut into is the round. It's also the most brilliant for, or sparkly of all the cuts. The ideal cut for a diamond is the one for which the diamond's proportions achieve the most brilliance. The diagram below shows what's considered ideal cut and round brilliance according to American Ideal Tolkowski and the European Ideal Cut. The proportions given are relative to the girdle diameter. Okay. So he's researching what the most expensive diamond is. Either because he's he wants hope, he has to give it box to there. his girlfriend or because he just wants to know. Or yeah. he's looking for one in the castle. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
me out. Ow. Good night, Nancy. What was that? Oh, it's our Headache phone. headquarters. Nancy here. Nancy, it's Jacques. Uh, what happened? Are you okay? I don't really know what happened. I opened your locker, like you said, and then it was lights out, Nancy. But you do have my medallion, right? They didn't find it when they picked me up off the floor? Oh la la, you can't be serious. I'm sorry, Jacques. I know how important that medallion was to you. This is too much. Oh la la. Unbelievable. Oh, oops. Let's, let's give passenger check. Well, we'll have cell phones. True. You just click on the name of who we're calling. Yeah. Hello? Hi, down? George. Hey, Nancy. What's the latest? That ventilation duct in the elevator shaft? It leads to the library. I knew it! So you got inside? Did the vandal do a lot of damage? It was a mess in there, all right. The vandal even this? clawed oh. a big hole in one Jeez. of the walls. He or she must have been desperate did. to find yeah, something. So like what? I don't know. Before I could really investigate, Dexter came in. Uh-oh. What did you do? I hid back in the duct. He was looking for something, and then he left. Well, that sounds awfully suspicious. Didn't he say he didn't want anything touched until the police came? Right. I know. Wow. I wonder what everyone is looking for. Maybe one of the books in the library contains a secret code. Or a treasure map. Or maybe I'm too late. Maybe the vandal already found it, whatever it was. Apparently old Dexter doesn't think so. Get this. I found a secret room in the library. Secret room? Get it this. looks like it was Ezra Wickford's study. Would you believe that Dexter Egan was Wickford's adopted son once upon a time? Until Wickford disowned him? Why was Dexter disowned? He was convicted of a felony. Counterfeiting. I guess Wickford didn't want any more to do with him after that. Well, that's a checkered past if I ever heard of one. Wonder what he's doing back at the castle. Maybe he wants revenge. Revenge on who? Wickford's dead. It's not logical, George. It's revenge. revenge. I've been doing some research on Marie Antoinette. Find anything interesting? Apparently, Marie Antoinette was once given an extravagant tiara with a ruby, a sapphire, an emerald, and a humongous diamond in it. But she hated it and refused to wear it. Who ever heard of a queen who hated jewels? What's even weirder is that before she was executed, the tiara just disappeared. Nobody has ever found it. Maybe it's somewhere right in Wickford Castle. And that's what the vandal tore the library apart looking for. Or it could be the library. old childhood mm -hmm. luck charm Wickford mentioned in the poem. Maybe that's what you saw Dexter hunting for. Who ever heard of a kid carrying around a bazillion dollar tiara for good luck? <laughs> you know what's weird? Is I went back right to check out Jacques' locker, and I found Sorry. a pamphlet about okay. diamonds, a letter from his fiancée, and a warning notice from immigration. Did his fiancée sound cute in her letter? Actually, she sounded upset. She wants him to hurry up and do something, but I'm not sure what. Sounds like that guy is under a lot of pressure. Yeah, I hope he's not marrying her just to stay in the country. Uh, yeah, you know what's weird is that um, the first time we talked to them about the library, she was like, um, Wickford like, wrote as, um, Dexter a poem, like, I, I don't remember, but like wrote him a poem and like there's oh, like a, yeah. a secret garden or whatever and now she's like, you won't believe what I found in the library. And yeah, because like, oh, they were like, yeah. oh, he, the inventor of the chocolate, chocolate milk, milk yeah. poems too? Yeah. Oh my it's kind of weird. This is so bass before. backwards. Yeah. yeah. Super weird. Yeah. There sure is a lot of talk about diamonds around this place. And it's no coincidence if you ask me. The diamond from Marie's tiara must be hidden somewhere in that castle. My thoughts, exactly. And you've got to find it before it falls into the wrong hands. 
bet you five bucks she's already thought of that too, George. Okay, you two. Bye, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. What time is it? Uh, that's me because I don't actually know what that means. It's probably like 1 p.m. Yeah, yes, it is. Uh, okay, let's go talk to some people ever since that happened. Let's see. We can figure anything out. Yes. Then yeah, what we're also going to want to do. That was our first medallion sighting, too. Yes. Which is exciting. I think now we might be able to go outside because I don't hear the storm anymore. You're right. Either. And then we can, at night, we can talk to uh, Hot Chiss again. Thanks for coming down. I've been wanting to talk charged. to you. How's your head? Did you slip or what? Uh, no. Feeling a little better, maybe? Or... Well, let's hard. just say okay. someone oh. must be trying to hit tell me head. to get a someone little more rest me. on this vacation. Anyway, I'm planning on making a speedy recovery. It's just that when I found you out cold in the basement and hauled you back to your room, I noticed all this red dirt on your shoes. I'm just curious where it came from. You should confess. Yeah, let's Mr. Egan, honest, people. I confess. Yeah. I found my way into the corridor that leads to the Queen's Tower. As you probably know, the dirt in that tunnel is very red. I hope you won't consider this trespassing. Nope. If you must know, I'm impressed. Ezra Wickford set that secret door up so nobody would be able to find it. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with getting into that tower. Ezra told me that if I could get through the secret door, he'd take me up to see the Queen's Tower. Aww. Finally, I got into the tunnel, and when I came out with that red dirt all over me, he laughed. He was actually proud of me. That's an amazing story, Mr. Egan. I'm glad you're not angry. I guess I'm just as curious as you once were. I'd say you earned the right to check out the tower for yourself, but you gotta get through that gate, right? There's an old skeleton key in the maintenance shed. Now that the storm's past, you can go out and get it. Oh, but be careful, sweet. it's still dead cold out there. Cool. I don't want to press my luck with you, but I sure would like to see Ezra's private garden. Could you tell me how to find it? It's nothing but wasteland out there. If you're bent on tromping around in the cold, go left when you get outside, away from the shed. Look for a wrought iron gate. You'll figure out the rest. Okay. Great. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. Bye. Go left. Now he calls us kiddo. He loves us. Aww. Such a sad well, if it yeah, isn't yeah. Dexter's little Cinderella, I'll let you get that back room. to your magazine. Later, Nancy. Guess what? Bitter isn't a good look on you. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so yum. Let's go outside. Also, Hopefully, Jacques doesn't hate us. Come on, yeah. Oh, oh, he now won't go to us. Okay. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. We didn't do it. <coughs> we didn't do it. To the left, to the left. To the left. <laughs> to the left. No trespassing. This, oh, broad iron gate. This is it. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I assume that has just been Oh, we should do that. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, I love the music change. Okay, let's just see what we can see up here. I know we have to see the head, but yeah, I'm just gonna like look at everything to see if there's anything else we can click. Click, 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 no. What a nice garden. It is. It's very frozen. Very frozen. <laughs> Oh, it's the head. Oh, and we oh we did, and it turned the head. Perfect. Yay! And we have the carry. Yes. 
our first medallion! Yeah. <laughs> this is the most satisfying music. I know. You did a thing right! <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, we did. Now, oh god, the music changed immediately. Uh, I think okay. we've seen what we can see in here, but we got Is that everything? Medallion. We've seen the medallion. Oh, that's it. I can hardly feel my toes. Girl, can you calm down? It's, it's Wisconsin. It's yeah. Let's see if we can go here. No. Oh, can we? Yeah, he told us we're allowed to go to the shed. That's where we can find the statue. Oh, you're right. She's probably. We were told we can come in here, so yeah. I'm going in here. Of course. Dang it! Yes! It's our own, I think it's the only time we can, so. Yeah. Okay, what can we see? Oh, there's some tools. Oh! Oh, oh write this down. A few moments later. are old enough to remember young Dexter Egan, the adopted son of old old daddy Chocobugs. Chocobugs. As for Wickford, most of us only came to know Dexter the boy who was lucky enough to grow up at Wickford Castle as Vilas County's most famous juvenile delinquent. Mm -hmm. According to no according to legend, it was Dexter's troublemaking that caused Wickford Cat Wickford's disappearance from public life. Most of us have used his name as an example of, of his uh, most of us is using, have used his name as an example to our own children to frighten them into obedience. You don't want to turn into Dexter Egan, do you? We would oh, ask God. a counterfeit, a convicted felon, a bad egg. Isn't it amazing that after 25 years in prison, Dex... 25 years in prison! Technically, he served a full life sentence in Canada, which is crazy. That's crazy! Um, Dexter Egan's release is what? coinciding with the grand reopening of Whitford Castle, now owned by the enterprising young Christy Lane. It's true, and rumor has it that Edgar determined to straighten out his life. <laughs> now you're calling him Edgar. <laughs> It's a easy mistake, you know. <laughs> and rumor has it that Egan is determined to straighten out his life and make up for past mistakes. But how will he make it? Blah. Will he become Wisconsin's next chocolate milk tycoon? When asked about his plans to reinvent himself, the ever charming Dexter said, "No comment." <laughs> does this does this spell trouble for Villas for Villas country? Only time Can't will tell. Got to oh. stay Do we warm. die? Yeah. Oh! No way. Tell me that we still have the medallion. What? Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get the medallion, we're gonna come back inside, then we're gonna go out yeah. and do the show. Good call. Because that was nuts. That's though. like, I'm sorry, Nancy, like, just wear proper clothes. Freaking nuts. This is Wisconsin. Like, we're from Canada. We would have been fine. <laughs> just build up some. Bone structure, girl. You can do it. Build it some bone structure? Oh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> some <laughs> layers of fat. <laughs> Survive the cold winter. Build up some bone structure, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm not That's celebrating not this time. Good. We already got it. Celebration over. Uh, it's freezing out here. Where is she from? River Heights, but where is that? So I've seen like things, it can say different things about where she's from. Okay. Okay, now can we do it and you're not gonna die on yeah. us? 
Because I think we can only go out here for a certain amount of time. We need that no. skeleton key. Okay. Okay, well, we don't have to read through that whole article again. So I'll just, like, go no. back and look at the stuff that we looked at yeah, before. Yeah, because we need... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the key's over there, is it not? Okay, we this. saw that. We saw this newspaper. Yeah. Great. Uh, here, I'll click closer and just because I want us to do that. There. Oh, there it is. On the wall. Can't be great. The skeleton key. Is there anything else in here that we need to see? Anything else in here that we need? I don't know. No. Whoa. Whoa. No ski lifts running because it's cold outside. Also because of the snow. Yeah, true. What's this? Uh, I don't know. Machine that. It's a... okay, okay, okay. I can okay, hardly feel going. my okay, toes. Jeez. I cannot get over this. Skeleton key for for the sewer passage downstairs. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, he's there. Great. Oh, no, back. Nancy, I still Sorry. cannot believe you lost my medallion. How could you have been lost so careless? Me medallion. Uh, you lost me medallion. I wasn't exactly careless, you know, and I didn't lose your medallion either. But I don't have it. Where were you, anyway? Weren't you supposed to meet me? When I showed up, you were having a catnap on the floor. Yeah, oh, all by my own I would be room. ruined by you American oh women. Oh my gosh! Guess you'd better stay away from me, then. Goodbye. Au revoir, little Miss oh. Nightmare. Aggressive, Jacques. Do not like you. Wow. All right, what's our next Tell steps? Tell friends. What are our next steps? Um... We can go try to use the key. Also, I want to get up at night and see what um, Hotchkiss was talking about. Okay. Why don't we do that? Why don't we like set it to nighttime? Oh, I went that way. That oh, you mean um, and go and look at the video? Yeah. Okay. And we can also talk to her. You're right. As well about like we haven't talked to her in a while. Yeah. So let's go do that, and then after that we can go and use the key. Good call. In the basement and see what we can. Yeah, we can go the way out of it. Good call, my friend. That was our room. Oh, I was gonna go to Hotchkiss, but it ain't time. We have so many keys. Nancy has big pockets. She really does. She can carry an oil can. Yeah, an oil can. <laughs> Unlikely. Unlikely. Oh, it's 2.30 p.m. What a nice time of day. Time. Truly, though, that's when I feel the most alive. Not too early and not too late. Yeah, just the right time. You feel bad that we're making a cut up at 3 a.m.? Okay, she went to bed at like 2 p.m., so True. I think she, you know, she had 13 hours of sleep. I think she'll survive. She got hit on the head and woke up at 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. When I say 13, that wasn't proper math, so don't. Hey. Yeah. Okay, bye. yeah. See you soon. I can't say Goodbye. Let's just go to her room. Like here. until late in the game. I did not realize that you had to go back every night and look at them. Yes, exactly. Testing. Can anyone oh. hear me? Hotch kiss to Earth. One. Come in, Earth. Oh, okay. I think I think we're rolling. Oh, then are we not <clears throat> further than this? Now Maybe let's get a everything. look at these hallways. No, she so says, rich she saw in detail. Else. 
You'd never know this place was built in 1920. It's all so 18C. Oh, and there's Marie. I feel so close to her just being here. It's as if her spirit is in the air, sweet as the smell of fried chicken. <gasps> And then we can rewind, can't we? I'll put it back in the charger, but... But, but can't we rewind? No, I don't think so. I don't think we yeah, can... Yeah, we can. No. These. We can't click them. This is red. These are not red. No. Oh. Yeah, we can't. So, I think that's all we're supposed to see. I feel like at, at one point, though, we can, can't we? Oh! Stop! Whoa! We just stumbled upon our second medallion! Can you dance for that one? Cause that one was so dumb. Well, no, I I always thought because like I've only ever find that find that late in the game. Like yeah, I, I thought, thought that was the last one. Yet. I always thought it was the last yeah, one. I truly thought we would not find that yet. It, and that's the blue one. So does that mean she was the one that hit us over the head? We should ask her. Also, let's go so, see what we can find so far. Yeah. So the blue one was the one on. she saw. It's the blue one tells oh. us. Oh, blue. we have to write these symbols. The okay. last oh, two you're right. symbols. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start a new page for this. For just and you know what? I think we start to ask her like what these Latin phrases mean, and maybe she so, does some research on them that we can go and see in her room later. More moments later. Oh, now what does red show us? Click on this. That would be great. Um, Shows us the first two symbols. Red and les l'espoir so we cherchant. A little longer than a few minutes later. Let's go talk to her now that we sure. found that just to see if there's anything more that we can say to her at this point in time. And then let's go use the key and see. So we're only really missing the green one. Medallion? Yeah. yeah, I don't know why I turned the emerald. emerald. Yes, dear. And that is, uh, what? Can you tell me what this means in English? La solution se trouve dedans. Well, trouver is to find, and solution is just like it sounds. Solution. The solution is found within. Okay. Is that this one? Yeah. What does l'espoir à ceux qui cherchent mean? Hmm, let's see. Well, Espoir is hope, and chercher is to search. Hope to those who search. Sorry, that's okay. I saw a letter on your desk from your friend, the Baroness von Hanseldorf, and I'm just wondering, did the medallion she gave you have a blue stone in it by any chance? Heavens no! Where did you hear such a thing? Oh, she had a green. My medallion had a green stone in it. Anything else would be a mere imposter. A flaming no faker, way. do you hear me? What do you think of Lisa Ostrom? So that's, that's what Leslie, yes. Oh, a real room. dynamo, but... Uh, oh, I told Chester that I would not require any maid service during my stay. I don't know why she didn't get the message. Oh. Huh? So I asked her what she thought of uh, Lisa Ostrom. She said, that Leslie, yes, a real dynamo, but I told Chester that I would not require any maid service during my stay. I don't know why she didn't get the message. So she was in her room. See you soon. right -o. Yeah. She's also the only one that didn't have a medallion of her own. True. Because Dexter had the one from his father. Um, Jacques had the one that he, like, we got hit over the head with, and then she had the green one. Yeah, true. Okay. Hmm. I want to talk to more, I want to try to talk to Lisa in the morning. Let's just get up in the morning. Yeah. Talk to Lisa. But we also need to look at the passageway. Yeah. 
So we can do that. Yeah, we can do that tonight. Right? So I gotta feel like. I don't know, is there a point to go down there if we don't have all the medallions? I don't know, I know there's puzzles down find? there. Yeah, I know, but I know that at the end we're gonna need all the medallions. But I don't know if we need to like find them all to do it. What? what? I don't to cool. So yeah, someone has a green medallion. I don't remember where we find it, do you? No, no <laughs> I don't. Scroll is not to like, let's say 11, so let's just do that. A wholesome time. <laughs> A great time, if you ask me. A fruitful time. A fruitful time. <laughs> and then we can see if Egan has anything else to say. I feel like he doesn't. I feel like we've exhausted him. Who? Jordy. Egan. We can try, yeah. yeah. I feel like we've exhausted what most of what he has to say. Oh! Hey there, Nancy. You've been holding out on me, Mr. Egan. I read in an old issue of the Daily Telegraph that you grew up here, right in this castle. All right. I did live here for a few years, once upon a time. I was an orphan until Ezra Wickford came along and adopted me. But I left the castle when I was 16, and I never saw him again. That's the story, all right? But why did you leave? Some things can't be explained, kid. It was a long time ago, and... Nothing can change it now. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. Mr. Egan is so wholesome. I like him a lot. Uh... Glad you came down to talk. Ooh, Get tea. this. I saw Dexter walking out to the maintenance shack with this, like, green ornament thing in his hand. The green He's medallion. up to something, right? Maybe you should check it out. Seems kind of suspicious, but okay. If you're so interested, why don't you go check it out yourself? I'd love to, but I really should get to work on my article. I'll let you get back to your magazine. That's Later, really Nancy. I, I, I know that the story. game is telling us to do it, so yeah, we exactly. should. Exactly, and we need the green medallions, the last one we need, so. Yeah. Whatever. We'll bite. What else are we going to do? Can we talk to you one more time? Do you still hate us? Look, keep the stupid medallion. It. It's yours. I will. How do you know we found it? And that's it for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. We post every Tuesday and Friday. The next part will be out soon. Hope to see you then. Boosie Broads out.